I'm hip. Preemptively pop off after taking a game against uh, Mr. R. A little bit of history about I'm hip. I'm hip, though. Uh, the, I want to say the leader of the IE Scourge uh, amongst the three. You know, I'm hip, Razo, Nitro, a couple players that we've been seeing. The IE takeover is really big right now here in SoCal. And I'm hip leading the charge, winning a couple first places in the last WNF, of course, as we saw. And, of course, winning his very first MSI. I think uh, that's right. He won both. Both uh, yeah, the Wednesday night and, yeah, the entire week. Then you go to Hack because I know he lives in the Inland Empire. Inland Empire very far. It's actually an hour away from this venue. But of course, coming up as well, we have S28, who's no stranger to SoCal. I mean, he's been plaguing the SoCal PRs for a majority of the seasons yeah. in Smash 4. He's definitely the designated keeper here in SoCal. A lot of people know S2H as the World Warrior, in my opinion. I want to say he's kind of like the Road Warrior. S2H never afraid to travel. Uh, honestly, he goes out. He went to Texas for a tournament, so S2H kind of famous for going out in tournaments. Famous for carpools. Uh, Shouts to him, man. I've gone to many tournaments like GTX. Thanks to S2H. We'll see how he can do here back in his home state in SoCal, especially over here at MSM. Yeah, now playing the, uh, of course, Smash Ultimate Meta Knight. Yeah. You know, I've been seeing, there was a lot of Twitter talk about this character. Yeah, S2H, not a fan of what you would guys consider the, the of course, the, uh, I lost the word. I'm so sorry. What, the Twitter combos? Yeah, the Twitter combos. <laughs> but he's not a fan of the Mock Tornado, that's the word. The Mock Tornado confirmed right there from the Twitter combos. He's not a fan of it. He kind of knows how that works. And that's why we saw him on stream earlier. He went for neutral air off the stage. He kind of likes to play a little bit cut and clean, but it's kind of hard for him to play against I'm Hip. Because I'm Hip, as he sees that he likes to go for these aerial approaches, he kind of stays on the ground and knows that when he lands, when he's going to go for these downer camps, he's there to find him with that up smash. That's right. Even when uh, there, was, there was already one instance where it happened, but s was able to get I'm Hip into a juggle, and he just whistled right through it. Yeah. I mean, he took the damage, but he was able to land his feet right back on the ground, and then whatever advantage s had was eliminated. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about like, S2H, I mean, he's finding these down airs, but it's not enough to actually reward him a stock. Yeah. So it's it's just piling up damage, but at the same time, he's also taking damage. Exactly. But one thing to note about S2H is he knows his game plan. Stay in the air, stay away from the Pikmin, come from above, pick and choose my moment of fight, and then I'll proceed from there. And that's how he's been playing, right? He stays in the air, he avoids the Pikmin, the extra percent he doesn't want, finally getting him off the stage. Can he get this edge guard phase in his favor? There's that down air, puts him in a tough angle. Wait, take it. Yeah, oh, it no tech coming out from I'm Hip. He was, must have been expecting the down air to send him in the opposite direction. Yeah, SWH knows this is my game plan, right? The lane game. I have to go for these guys. I have to avoid the Pikmin. All right, comes back to the edge. I'm Hip looking for the edge guard face. He loses it as SWH comes back. And I like the switch coming out from SWH. He noticed that I'm Hip was low on Pikmin. He only had one in his control, so that was when he started to approach on the ground. He was going for those dash attacks. He was going for... Uh, uh, for grabs. Okay. Oh, big back air coming up from S uh, on him. One thing important to notice about S2H, he doesn't go for dash attack. He doesn't want to lead him with that. Not many combos as compared to what it was in Smash 4, but he knows he doesn't want to get too over aggressive. Unfortunately, though, he is just a little too close to I'm him. I like the space that he was with that forward smash, but he just moved a tad too close for that Pikmin to actually hit him. Falling down with the Nair again. Does send I'm Hip off the stage, but oh, oh, the are. dimensional cape. Oh the my god, and you are never safe from that. I'm, I'm especially for Astro H, man. He's so keen to use that. Okay, that's the, that's the game here. This is the game plan that's been working so far. I got him here. A last block situation there. A couple down airs to bring him up, off the stage. I like that. Was, that was SWH's moment to really go in on I'm Hip. There was no ground for, uh, for him to whistle to in that position. But you can really see I'm, uh, S2H pushing his aggression when they're off stage. Yeah. Okay. Finally comes back on the stage, though, but he's got the purple pick. I'm sorry, the white pigment attached to him. I take unnecessary damage that he doesn't want. I like it. A little bit of patience. He wants to see where I'm Hip's going to be so he can make him choose the right moment. Up throw. I don't take it. That's right. You got to keep in mind what the order of these Pikmin are. He had the blue one, blue, double purple. Still an insanely strong kill setup. Yeah. I think like blue double purple's like one of the best ones, and then yeah. uh, red double purple is like the second best. I mean, they both have double purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coincidentally, like <laughs> double purple is like pretty, pretty ridiculous. Oh, well, SOH did a good job, like you said, like we were talking about earlier, right? Like he's staying off the stage, he's avoiding it, but like you said, man, these down airs only amount to percent, but not the kill. He has to wait 
to get I in a prime position to get him off stage with either these down airs or these other aerials. I mean, think about how he was able to take the stocks in the in game one. It was a stage spike with down air, and then he got a kill with the dimensional game. Mm -hmm. Not once was it a ladder. Exactly. It's kind of it, he's. I um, want to say like I was gonna say like, Omar. Definitely one of those characters that doesn't get ladder like we saw versus him versus BMC, right? With the, with the weight really mattered there. Yeah, like the, the dares. Even converting to a dash attack right now. I'm oh. hip, retaliating with his own damage. That forward tilt gonna send him all the way off the stage. To the side. I like the spacing from S2H. Kind of respect it was to see if I, uh, I'm able to go for a roll. Okay, putting a couple Pikmin. Even checking S2H's shield with, uh, with the forward air on his way down. Kind of has a solid lead here. Doesn't want to lose it. There's a Pikmin final attached. I like how he knows what move to get the Pikmin off of. Most for new trail. Unfortunately, that DI was not going to be great. That's right. S smash from center stage was enough to take a stock. Now, S2H finds himself having to play the aggressor once again. I mean, that seems to be how, how this entire set's been going. Uh, it's The game is when is S2H going to approach? Yeah. And that's what I've been looking for is when are you going to approach, man? I know when to get you immediately. I know what your plan is. Like, okay, is he gonna go off stage? Neutral air, not able to get him. Second attempt here, nope, so goes back to stage. I like it, gets the up B out of the shield there. Still an amazing option for Meta Knights. Yeah, and it's all because I feel like he knew I mean, was gonna come, probably come in with an aggressive option there, so he wanted to make sure it was like shield and then punish for a cheap and easy way to take the stock. I wouldn't say that cheap, but pretty simple. Another S smash from across stage. Now I'm hip slowly approaching that death with double blue. I I like how I'm hip was trying to outspace S2H, but he came in with that death like that one time, able to close the range there. S2H though okay. in a bit of a trouble. Uh, another upper for I'm hip. I mean that's such a sticky situation to be in because I'm hip was actually cycling through his pigment so he would have double blue. Yeah. Just because if I'm S2H does check his shield, he would be able to get that that kill throw very easily. Oh, this is good for set for I'm hip. I'm gonna pick and choose the time to come back on the stage with those down airs. Another parry there. S2H having a bit of trouble here. Another, Another one, dude. This is one thing that goes to show with I'm hip in the parries, right? He's kind of understood that game plan, gets that forward smash, and that'll be it. I'm hip taking a 20 and a handshake.